guys, welcome back to the channel. If you are watching my channel, my name is Lisa, my name is Theo. Chatter and Chris. Um, so, welcome back to the channel. This video is just a review. On, like, uh, we went to India recently and then we're, to we're going to talk about our experience and especially Chris's experience because we went to a lot of places this time. Yeah. Uh, so, he just going to review how it was the entire yeah. holiday i'm sorry we are outside if outside i'm love this so nice big part up um, i'd bring my camera but then i forgot my sd card so i can't exactly shoot on my camera because of the sd card so bear with me with the wind i'll try to hide it but yeah so what do you think about the holiday oh it's fun wow <laughs> That's it. I had you to review it. Okay. So, um, so right after we did a photo shoot, which didn't go great because Theo was half asleep, still from jet lag. Uh, we then but they went, did a good job. They did a good job. Yeah. I they were very patient. Were yeah. <laughs> they were very patient. That's for sure. Um, we then went. Was it Alapi? That was fun. A uh, beautiful place. Um, <coughs> took a local train to get there. Um, that was interesting. It was the first time I went on a local train. Um, not the cleanest of places, but it was, it was right, you know, it was an experience. Like I said, Alipi was stunning, sort of beautiful, like, scenery and water and stuff. Houseboat we went on was nice. Did you go there again? Yeah, plan on next time we uh, overnight stay in the houseboat. So, after Alipi, Chrissy said, every holiday we go to India, we are going to Alipi. It's become one of our favourite places to go. It's so beautiful I'm even the food I can't complain it was really nice so yeah, that's nice. Um, so why not you know we yeah. can just go and stay there I know it's kind of like cost is about like 100 quid or yeah. maybe because if you're staying overnight it might be like say 15 150 quid so, like that, yeah. yeah but still I think it's worth it just yeah, it's fun. amazing yeah. and we just had a nap <laughs> yeah, <laughs> while, nap while all the cousins took the room and we were just like Ha, ah, okay. He was sleeping on the sofa. I, I literally slept on the floor <laughs> in the boat. Uh, I took a pillow and then I slept there. And the kids were so noisy. I didn't realize. So this kind of took an hour and then was away. He was sleeping in the chair. And they made us food. And we bought some fish and stuff. Chris is not a big fan of fish. Um, so we didn't eat much. What's what is it? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> so grumpy. We didn't have much of and then after that, yeah, oh, train. Oh, so there yeah, you go. after Alipi, we went for a couple of days in Chennai. <coughs> we went for a couple of days in Chennai after Alipi, which was nice to see family. ruined the day for me. It was horrible. Um, the place looked nice and there was... A you know, oh, French colony. The French colony place, yeah. Mm. There was lovely stuff there. The, yeah, the architecture was interesting. There was some nice things. There was an elephant there that you could go and take photos of and stuff. Would have been great. And there was nice little stalls that you could pick little bits up from. But they had a lot of uh, people who would approach you and wouldn't leave you alone. So they'd come and offer their rubbish that they wanted to sell. And they wouldn't leave you alone when you say no. Now, I've got a bit of a temper where it comes to people like that so I said to Lisa I said look we're going to leave now or I'm going to start causing issues with these people and I, I would have eventually I would have hit them because they got on my nerves so we were outside now we decided to come in because it's windy and Teal's been grumpy but he's happy now he's got some chicken yeah Joe was hungry, so yeah, yeah. So we had to come back and feed him. So we were talk I think we were talking about Pondicherry, like how yeah, the French um, colony was. Yeah, the French colony. It was. It looked nice, and it would have been nice um, if the people that were bothering us left us alone. It's they would come up to us and show us their products, fine, but we would say no, we're not interested. Go away. They would then constantly keep on going on and on and on about their products, even though we said no, and we walked away. They would follow us. Um, mm. 
they even followed us to the temple and we yeah. got out. She was like, as she was saying, like, you know, uh, she's ill, she got some health issues uh, going on. There was a whole load of BS. Yeah, and it, I don't know whether it's true or not, but one thing I told her, like, then you need to sell something the foreigners will buy. She was like, uh, like mm. selling like a bag. Yeah, it was like a cheap, tatty, horrible little thing. Short, Might have that, like clothes. Yeah, the short end of it is it was it was ruined by the people who just kept following us. Yeah. If they'd left us alone, it would have been nice, but they didn't. So the John bombs. Um, yeah. anyway. So yeah, apart from that, Chennai was interesting. It was a lot busier than we expected it to be. Yeah, it was very, very, very busy. Sort of. Sort of, it was mostly like little motorcycles and mopeds and things like that everywhere, went in the traffic, and it was just, it would come to a stop all the time because half the roads were shut. <laughs> um, which was fine, you know, it, it was alright. We, we spent most of the time in a tuk tuk and we regretted doing that. We should have got a, something with AC to drive around Chennai with because the tuk tuks are brilliant when you're moving because there's lots of fresh air and all that but then when you sit still in traffic and you've got a, a big bus sat next to you kicking out loads of hot exhaust in your face it's like uh, we should have got we should have got a car with ac yeah but there you go it is what it is but so, but i don't regret going it's an experience that we yeah, got it was so it's amazing we get to see the family yep. and get to see my nephew yes which was amazing it was cute yeah and then we went for a, like a nice meal out mm -hmm. and then it was amazing yeah so i don't regret that bit but then the traffic and the pollution mm -hmm. pollution china is nowhere near when you talk about pollution compared to mumbai yeah that's the next oh place oh my then. god that's on a whole different level yeah i mean mumbai i think is one of the most polluted <laughs> <Find your head>. <laughs> <laughs> Thea doesn't have the idea of what yeah so chennai we thought was a little bit polluted um but then when we went to mumbai we realized it was not in the slices chennai is quite clean compared to Mumbai. Yeah. So we went to Mumbai, we went on the train, uh, on a 36 hour train, um, which is fine, the time, you know, it's a day and a half on the train, but we went SL class, we should have went AC3, 2 or even 1. Where are you going, little man? I'm going to drive. You want to drive the car, do you? Do his nose. Bleh. Yeah, we should have gone in AC 3, 2, or 1 because it was nice having the wind blowing through and everything when the wind was coming through. But when you sit still at a station and you got that, you know, you know the smell if you've been on the trains. You've got that smell coming through. Oh, no. And you can't escape it because they sit, sometimes they sit at the station for an hour. Um, <laughs> it was fun. It was entertaining. And then it's like, SO, we reserve the seat. Yeah. But then the local people mm. literally get in and it's just too busy. And I'm like, yeah. it's already hot in here. I'm not feeling good. So why are there so many people in here? I'm like, okay, I don't, I'm not, don't think I'm like complaining too much. But yes, I am complaining because it's <laughs> a reserved street seat. Yeah. And I'm not expecting anyone to come and sit on the seat. Yeah. The whole definition yeah. and reason of a reserved seat is that it's your seat and no one else sits there. Yeah. Our experience of going to Mumbai was that it doesn't matter if you reserved your seat or not. People will come and just sit, sit with you and push you off your own seat. <coughs> if you don't physically stop people sitting down in your chair, they will sit in it. Mm. Um, it was not. It, it was quite. Uh, it was. It was not it was a, nice. It was a different experience. It was a different experience, but we'd not do that again. Well, no, we don't do it. But we no. decided if we ever travelling on the train, then we will be going on AC one AC or two, one or two, yeah. or even three if we are travelling with family. We yeah, can afford it. We can just put chipping bit more money in. Yeah, and they can afford to come on AC three. But yeah, yeah here's the I thing between AC between SL and AC three for the journey, it was like an extra ten pounds, which is less than a meal out here. Mm. Um, we could have upgraded to AC3 and had, you know, AC air conditioning, which would have been lovely. <coughs> but, then, <laughs> <laughs> but then on SL, we got we get got to see so many beautiful scenery. Yeah, you don't, I mean, That's with the, windows, because the windows will never be sort of crystal like clear, the, yeah. you don't get the same kind of scenery pictures. I mean, some of the scenery, some of the scenery between, um, what are you doing, mate? You pick them up before you actually. From um, I think it was Trivandrum. <laughs> when we get closer to Mumbai, I think it was like I don't know after Mangalore, you see like a lot of like tunnels and then mm. mountains and then waterfalls. It's it was stunning, beautiful. Yeah, I love that bit. Yeah, but then when I got to Mumbai, and I'm like, 
Mm. Hmm. But it's from what what people have said. Just put him in there so he can play with it. Oh! <laughs> He's happy. <laughs> from what people have said, yeah, I had my expectation where like okay, expect the worst because obviously it, they I had heard that kids might be get kidnapped and then yeah. your wallet gone missing but nothing that happened because it wasn't that too busy as i was expecting to be yeah. or like i saw in the like videos or anything like it's crowded and it's crammed yeah it wasn't like that so it was good that bit but then i did expect to be like really really dirty mm. it was still dirty but then it's it's better but comparing to the train Mm. Yeah, it was good. It was stinky all the way for 36 hours. It was like, pee, I go to the toilet and I go, why are yeah. people not flushing it? That's literally a button say flush. Just hold it and then you flush it. People just tend to not to flush it. Mm. It's just, I'm like, oh my God. So it was, it was weird. I think the people go on SL don't realize there's a thing called flush you can flush it no i think the reason they don't flush it is probably more people the people that are on the train were experienced with the train and they realize that, that water will run out fast so they don't flush it unless you have no, to no because the one we were on on the way back had no water it would run out yeah because they're they're supposed to refill it mm -hmm. like when the stations come that's where the pipes I know, are but i don't think they always refill it so it's it's not our mistake. No, no, no. no but what I'm saying is the reason people don't flush is because they're expecting that. Okay, yeah. Indian railway, you got to do so much about the train. Yeah, the, the trains <laughs> are filthy, 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 very. Yeah. Especially the fan is really hot. How do you expect people to travel that long with a shitty fan? Mm. I already saw the live video. It was about two minutes because the train was traveling. I don't have the signal to post it like properly, but it was filthy mm. you know like on the way to mumbai the fans were like really good it's yeah. clean enough so there was no issues with that it's still like nice on the way to mumbai the train was pretty clean, clean. yeah on the way back the, the carriage we were in was disgusting filthy yeah it was disgusting like, beyond disgusting so it's something that you know because people pay regardless whether they're paying hundreds hundred well seven hundred ten rupees or even three thousand rupees it's as an indian railway you have a responsibility to keep the book it's like clean so people it, it's still money you know they're, they're working hard they have the money they what they can afford that's it and they are paying for it so make sure it's clean yeah and one thing i like to say the um our nice public general public please keep it clean and flush it if the water runs out make a complaint they will refill it on the next station because when the toilet wasn't clean i told them the toilet wasn't clean i had a mug and it was missing <laughs> there's no mm. the mugs there so when i complained it they came and dealt with it so flush it if the water runs out you ring them and make a complaint and they will come and sort it out for you so mm. there you go that's our uh, mumbai but, yeah well no what did we do in mumbai we went, we to, went to the water national park. no we went to a water park and we went oh. to the national park as well it was beautiful the national park that was, was stunning beautiful. it was, it was raining, raining. <laughs> yeah it was raining a lot um so we went to the national park and to the water park and as well Bye. Yeah. <laughs> so the water, the national park was beautiful. It was raining. Yeah. But apart from that, it was stunning. It was stunning. I, I mean, didn't go all the way up because it was raining. I have to look at the feel, but it was beautiful. And I'm like, I didn't even realize we are in Mumbai. It yeah. was that beautiful and it's clean. It's clean and it's beautiful. I love it. Yeah. But. Nah. Yeah. Can I go back there again to climb it? It's a lot to walk. <laughs> <laughs> Just for that. Mm, no. But ah, water parks are my favourite. His nose. Water parks are my favourite. So I, I yeah. think I'll definitely do it again with my cousins in South India rather than going to Mumbai to water parks. Yeah. It was. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go on. We had so much fun. Give me a chicken thing with the family like hey with you so, we had so much fun like everyone had fun yeah. and the slides i think it was the first time my cousins all of them going like that as well Probably. everybody had fun everybody literally chipped their skin because they kept telling like hold it like that and my cousins going what 
and they all had like broken skins and stuff oh well, listen to the people when they say like do it properly otherwise you're gonna hurt yourself uh some of the bits i didn't go because i was too scared <laughs> to go on it i went on pretty much all of it yeah and it was amazing we got families in mumbai <laughs> That's the other reason we went um, to Mumbai. So yeah, it was it was good to see cousins. I haven't seen them in twelve years, and it was finally good to see them and their husbands. It was like it was amazing. We had a good time, and yeah. one of my cousins' husband, um, he was the one who's taking us around. He loved him. Yeah, my note. Yeah, thanks, bro. <laughs> <laughs> so Sonia is uh, it's my cousin sister. So. Her husband, like, you know, he was, like, so good with us. Mm. And, like, you know, asking us if we need anything else and, like, yeah. making sure that we are all right. And, yeah, on the road. Wow, Indian roads are amazing. <laughs> well, compared to the local roads, yes. Yeah, I mean, like, South India has better road comparing to North India. Yeah? Yeah. North India, like, every, every two seconds you go, like... Mm. I think that was just the driver. <laughs> but I think, like, I mean, in general, like, South India is, like, everywhere we went, they had a decent road. Mm. Which, there is different, but I'm not saying, like, it's, it's a bad thing. They might be doing something about it. Um, but, yeah, I think, I wouldn't say it's disappointing, disappointing, but... What, Mumbai? Yeah. My favourite was eating faluda from Mumbai. It was amazing. The the noodle thing with the ice cream and stuff. It was nice, yeah. Oh, it was gorgeous. I fell in love with it. That's one of my favourite things. People say, like, try pani puri and powada and, like, I did, but for some reason it's, like, pani puri I tried. It was too spicy and I couldn't handle it. Well, there was two pani puri things we tried. There was There's... one which is, like, a buttery one, which is all right. I like that. Oh, yeah. It's and then just... there was another one which was just like a spicy mint thing and it wasn't, wasn't yeah nice. spicy mint was like spicy spicy like a lot of green chili in it mm. and it has like a flat one with like mixture and like yeah. sweet thing i love it. i love that mm. that thing i think safe puri i think it's called that was that was good mm. uh but pani puri homemade I'll, I'll eat it like at least it was one of my pregnancy craving but i was a little disappointed when it was too spicy and i'm like <laughs> <laughs> My spice level went down ever since I got married to Chris. So, hey, it, it is what it is. But then I fell in love with Falada. It's one of my favorite. And in South India, you know, like when you go to local shops, they keep um, drinks like um, like a squash. It's one of my favorite. I call it like color drink. <laughs> Give me a color drink. I always snag my cousin like that, so he know where I know certain shops they do so I, I tell him so he knows it he taking me first time there and then I always remember they have it so every time I'm out when I come back I'm like I'm having it buy new ones so I have like two 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 glasses or three glasses get those other way Meh. Oh, the other one. there's a little bit of juice back in the bottom but just get rid of it Not um, so yeah so what would you go back again to Mumbai? Um, probably not. It was nice. Uh, the park was nice. The water park was nice. Um, can you rescue him? <laughs> Were you stuck? Yeah. Yeah. So everything was nice. Um, the shopping was quite cheap as well. Yeah. But we've done it. You know, it's, it's once you. That's the kind of place that once you've done it, you've done it. Yeah. Um, there's not much else that we want to do. It, it would be a nice location to stay and then go further afield, you know, like uh, go somewhere else a bit further away. But there's nothing, it's all quite far away from there. Mm. So mm, I liked it, but wouldn't go again. Mm, okay, fair. Yeah, it's like that's, I, I would say the same thing about Chennai. Mm. I like it, but will I go there again? No, it's too hot for me to handle it. <laughs> I mean, me and Indian mother, for some reason, it hates me. And <laughs> after two weeks, I get like really, um, like spots on my, it's just my fingers and my toes. I mean, when I, eventually when I come back to England, uh, the spots will break, um, pops and my skin start peeling. So basically it's looked like, I don't know whether you can see, I got it on my both 
so now I am very sensitive to soap and water so it kind of burns me so I have to always keep like creams and cream it otherwise it hurts and then I can't do this because it hurts mm. <laughs> so because of the heat I will double think about it but then where we went after Mumbai basically nowhere we just came back to the village and we just chilled yeah we just relaxed for a few um, days yeah <laughs> We just went to like cousin's house and we celebrated Onam and stuff like that. We went to Toronto to the see the lights <laughs> because of the traffic. We couldn't get anywhere near it. We couldn't get anywhere near it. So what we did, we went saw a little bit of it mm. and then everybody was like, because we went like a bit late anyway. <coughs> Chrissy got a, like a dental appointment and after that we went like, it was about an hour and a half. We stayed in the car about two hours. Yeah. And it was hot. The car doesn't have an AC. And I'm like, <laughs> and he was getting too hot. He was like, yeah. let's go home. Yeah, I was hungry. He was hungry and he was grumpy. Hungry, tired, you name it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. sorry. But I feel sorry for my, like, uh, my dad's brother and wife. They don't, literally, they don't go anywhere usually. <laughs> but we dragged them. So. Yeah, so I dra we dragged them out. My mom said, like, yeah, you're not going anywhere. Let's come with us. And she finally came, and we didn't do what we meant to do. No. So I felt like, oh, I'm sorry. You didn't realize it was that busy. Yeah. But then, then after that, my cousins messaged me, like, oh, my God, we should have went to see this dam. They got, like, really nice, um, you know, uh, lights, lights and, and stuff. stuff. And I'm like... Huh, you we ran told, out of time, but I yeah, you could have told told us, but we ran out of time mm. because the following day we were going to Mumbai, um, so we were so busy doing that stuff and things like that. But yeah, yeah, in general, this holiday was very busy. Yeah. I need a different holiday to cover from this holiday. That's how busy it was. Yeah, it was fun though. It was really know. fun. You know, we had. I mean, we spent a lot of time with cousins yeah i mean chrissy got really close with my cousins which i was really happy about yeah. and i can see them like in the corner chatting and drinking and all kind of stuff yeah. so i'm glad they everybody's making an effort mm. and chrissy i think he he's gonna start learning how to speak tamil now so mm. hey if we can find someone to teach me, teach. Yeah, I'm not gonna do it mm. because I'm 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 not built for teaching, so I don't know. Uh, I can talk to him, yeah. like homeworks and stuff. Yes, I can talk to him and then do it. He just wants to learn to speak, not to write. So yeah. just someone need to teach him how to talk. Uh, so we can sort it out. So once that done, I think the conversation mm. with the cousins will get more weirder because my cousins are weird. I'm not. Mm. I'm not saying because I'm weird too. He's weird too. So, yeah, I think overall the holiday were like amazing. Mm, I enjoyed it. Yeah. So two years, I'm not. <laughs> For next two years, we we need to think. We did think about going in October, but we are planning to buy a house. Mm. So financially, we might be a bit tight. But if I get pregnant in between, you know now. If I get pregnant, then we're not going anymore for two years. Yeah. I'm not pregnant, by the way. Thank Everybody's God. asking, but no. No, please no. No, I can't. Uh, it's not like I can't get pregnant, but for now, it's like we're not trying to get pregnant. Uh, but yeah, we got other priorities like feel house. house, get settled financially. Mm. Like this holiday cost us like a lot of money. Yeah. So yeah, we need to cover from everything. So it's gonna take a while, but it was an amazing holiday. It was. What do you think, Fair? Did you enjoy it? He was grumpy. He wouldn't go to wedding one. All the families were like, let me pick him up. He's like, no. No, he just wanted yeah. daddy cuddles. Yeah. The whole time. When he went to sleep, he come to mommy. Yeah. Yeah. And if anyone comes to me, this guy have a tantrum. <laughs> and as soon as they move away from me, he go to daddy. It's yeah. like... That's the point, mate. You're not even staying with me. But anyway, this is our holiday review. I know it's, we talked a lot for a long time. 
uh, anyway, if you're visiting, uh, if you're visiting uh, India, I'll definitely uh, say like go to places. It, it's an experience. Mm. So once you get the experience, sometimes you might like it, sometimes you don't. Yeah. And like we got the experience. I won't, I won't do it again. It's because of the heat. I was just struggling with the heat, to be honest. Even in Chennai and Mumbai, but in general, I love it because of the rain. I loved it in Mumbai. <laughs> <laughs> it kept me cool and the water park was my favorite that was fun i mean in general the holiday my favorite was going to alipi was the best thing yeah alipi was just amazingly stunning you can't get away from it no it it's was probably one of the prettiest places i've ever been yeah it was so stunning and it's just like beautiful the wind and the boat and then mm. the scenery is just like i could literally just stay there i mean like i was so jealous of people that who were staying there like they get to see these beautiful views every day but yeah i think i will definitely do that do that again so try it you know yeah. go to different places experience it the, the <clears throat> food of all, of all the places we've been in here <laughs> on the like fourth times that we've that i've visited with you alapi was my favorite it's the prettiest by far yeah. I mean, we did poo our backwaters. That was pretty. Yeah. Um, it was this a is more nowhere smart. near Alipi because. I... <laughs> <laughs> you're not tall enough, buddy. Well, you're too tall, I should say. So, so yeah, I mean, like, back, poo our backwaters, well, like, coconuts and stuff, like, it's, it's a local thing. But yeah. Alipi is known for backwaters, like, proper, yeah. but it's. I didn't know the beauty of it until I went there. Yeah. So definitely recommend it. If oh, you're going definitely. there, go for at least stay overnight. Okay? Yeah. Alapi is definitely worth it. I regret not staying overnight because mm. I didn't know. I thought, you know, it would be fine in the morning and then we get out in the evening. Yeah. But then it would be nicer if I stayed at the more night. Like the yeah. night. Over, overnight stay overnight will be Overnight stay will be amazing. There's not much to do in Alapi apart from relax, I'd say. Yeah. Like if you're if you're going to India mm. and then you want to relax but then enjoy at the same time, backwaters, alibi. Oh, this is where's the other one? I don't know. It was in your lap. This is the old one. The one was there. Got it? Yeah. So definitely go. You can just relax. Mm. Oh, chicken. There you go. So definitely go there. It's Cuddly. become my favorite place as well. Um, yeah, I think yeah. And we every time we go, we're gonna explore new new places. Yes. Pondicherry was nice, but it was ruined by the it not being controlled properly. Yeah. All the like touts. And it's like they keep pestering you. Yeah. It's like, yeah, what we told you, we, if I want something, I'll come to you, or if I look nice, I'll ask for the fries, and then yeah. we'll see if I'm getting, we got, like, you know, the fan, because it's too hot, but it's useful. Yeah. I'm not going to get stuff that's not useful, because mm. I'm going to waste my money. It's going to eventually go in a bit. I know yeah. I do with scent, stuff like that, but knowingly buying that it's, I'm not going to use it. No, I'm yeah. not going to waste my money like that, but if the fan, even for, like, for the holidays, it's useful... And then if something else for Theo or anything like that, yes. But kept pestering me, it's something yeah. I don't. If you say, don't like. if I say, if I, if one comes up and offers something, fine, you can come and offer it. It's not a problem. But when I say no once, and then you ignore it, I I can let that go. That could be you didn't understand the first no. But once I've said no twice, it, that's it. Yeah, they were following us about like 10, 15 minutes yeah. while we were there and Chrissy was like, so we didn't get to explore French colony as much as we would like to Yeah, because there's a lot of people like pestering and following us. So yeah. we said like, well, I didn't. Chrissy said like, let's go. I'm yeah. done with this place. Let's go. Yeah. So yeah, that's, that's the one thing I'm not a big fan of about um, touristy, Indian touristy place. Well, Pondicherry. We've been to touristy places, loads of touristy places, but yeah, but no, uh, never was it been like that. Mm. I mean, <laughs> find your house, you <laughs> you know, I think We've been to Kinyakumari right the way down to mm. where the big statue is, yeah. and that the people approached us, but when we said no, <coughs> they left us alone. We've gone to um, what's that beach? 
Covalham. Covalham Beach, yeah. yeah. We went to Covalham Beach again. People approached us, we said no, they left us alone. Mm. Not a problem. That I don't mind. It's when they won't mm. leave us alone. Yeah. Like I said, I, so, I think it's the, yeah. Yeah. But anyway, that's that, that's our holiday. I mean, like, mm. if you're going to India, definitely explore it. And uh, one thing I would say, if you're going from like a European country, I wouldn't recommend SO. It's a sleeper class. Don't go for it. Yeah. Go for AC. Third class, I think. First, first or second, really. No, I mean, like, if they just want to... But, yeah, first yeah. or second. First class, you just get your own, you know, beds and then kind of like a room thing. So, definitely go with that. I mm. would not recommend going on SL. SL is cheap. But you get what you pay for on that one. It's about seven pounds, mm. the tickets, but... You get what you pay for. Yeah. So you spend extra fifteen quid, you go on a first class. Well, I don't regret it now. It, it was it was good because especially when we had all the families and stuff. The best thing was they come in Thai. Chris was doing like um yesterday I asked him for tea and he goes like Chai, chai, chai. Gabi, chai, 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 chai. It's the funny thing is they don't change the, their voice. They just say it constantly because obviously they're walking up 20 carriages saying the same thing. Yeah, so it was fun. But the chai, That's one lovely. thing I love about Mumbai was chai. Masala it was chai. My favorite thing. Mm. Oh my God, it's gorgeous. Yeah. It's amazing. It tastes wonderful. And this is going to make me some when we get home. <coughs> it's um, got cinnamon, I think. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I'll I will try. I'll definitely try it because they like cooking for a very long time, so they get yeah. all the you know flavors and stuff in the chai. Yeah. And the cups were too small, which is it's disappointing. Yeah, it's like I wish the cups were like at least that big because in here we, our our yeah, tea mug. mugs are like proper big. Yeah. And we had like that much. I was like so disappointing. I want to have like drink more, no, but then they only do it that much. But. It was amazing. It was one of the best thing I like about Mumbai, the chai. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Overall, the holiday was good. It was a different, weird, hmm. uh, all kind of mixed kind of experience. It's we had it different compared to our last visit to India, where we basically just did nothing, relaxed. Yeah. Um, that was it. You know. Yeah. But I think learning from what we've done on both of those two, the last two holidays is we would do day trips to places and maybe an overnight trip to place um but that'll be it you know we're not going to do something like mumbai again where we stay a, a day and a half on the train yeah that was too long for me but too even long for Theo. even if we are going to delhi we'll take the flight yeah so it's just two hours i think and it's get mm. it done rather than just struggling in the train for three days yeah I think. no thanks yeah it's about three to delhi. yeah so i'm not gonna no no, even with the family, three days is way too long. I mean, like, if something happened to Theo on the train, like, mm. temperature, which he got, and then getting him medical help <laughs> will be pain in the bum. So Yeah, we'd have to jump off at a station and leave the train behind. Yeah, so uh, we I wouldn't risk that again. Um, but apart from that, it was an amazing holiday. And, yeah, yeah. that's it. You like it, right? Yeah, it was fun. It was fun, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. That's our review of our holiday. Yeah. There will be a lot of like videos. I think I'll post it. You'll post it. That's I'll, it. I'll post it. It's all, it's it's in the process of editing, so I'll slowly post everything, like so you get to enjoy it. <laughs> okay. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching our video. And if you like us, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And Please don't forget to bell, press the bell button so every time I post a video, you get the notification. And that's it for today. You say bye. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye.